Oceans. Oh, not the Oceans. Uh, Kelly Saint Lawrence. Uh, uh, waterway. Uh, Saint Lawrence Waterway. Saint Lawrence Waterway. And the Niagara Basin is like this big ass river that goes all the way around the whole state and then come out New York and then lead to the sea, right? Mm, okay. So all that stuff is fed through the Great Lakes. Oh, so like and the Great Lakes flowing down? Right. Not only are they flowing down right of course now, they have to. right now, they're rising up. Because now there's uh, less on top of it. See, the thing that, that happened is the reason why the lakes are the way that they are is because there used to be ice on top of them. So the ice is way heavier than the water. So the ice pushed the mantle and the crust down. But we know what's underneath the mantle, right? Right. What is it? It's magma. Yeah, liquid. It's Liqu it's liquid. liquid. So, so, it's, it, so, it so it pushed down. Liquid can, you know, you can't compress a liquid. So you can only push against it and it kind of moves to us and disperses to yeah. other places. Well, now there's no, there's no ice on top of the lakes. So the down. lakes is rebounding. So the lakes are naturally draining themselves out because that's awesome. Eventually, all that is going to rise up to the surface. And here's the other part. It's going to go back down. Because that's how rebound works. Mm -hmm. It's you like know? it's going like that. It's a wave. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. So, we own a 100,000 year wave right now. <laughs> you, did y'all hear what he just said? <laughs> A hundred thousand year wave. And that's if we, and that's if the planet makes it that long because based on how things work, we should have a, a large terrestrial visitor in the next, you know, today to twenty thousand years from now. Right. Because the thing because we get hit by shit all the time they done did the calculations no they know where everything is and they know in what direction they are currently moving you know what i'm saying we're working against <laughs> but they say it's a planet out there that they can't find but they know it's there because it's interacting with uh the matter around them. which is then also crazy is they don't tell us It's getting slung and it's, and it's like this. It's getting slung around. Just look. This one side I want. Talking about energy. The one, the one side I want. They uh, track the sun a lot. They do sun. They do daily uh, sun uh, weather reports. Because we have. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Because, uh, right. Because all that energy interacts. turned into a fly. But you're a pretty big fly. Yeah, but, but uh, so when they talk about like the, the coronal ejection and the solar flares, mm -hmm. when they show how the solar flare interacts with the earth, the earth has a tail. You know what I'm saying? 
worked with the Earth again? Explain that again. Which part? The when the solar flare happened. Okay, so when the solar flare happened, it's like little high energy explosion going on like, around the planet. Right. Well, going out into the solar system. Oh, right, right. Okay. Because remember, the sun is ridiculously huge. from the sun to get here. Eight minutes? That's, That's what I heard. I wouldn't think about that. That's fast. Life is fast. <laughs> Eight whole minutes to know that the sun didn't win no way or turned off whatever lights go out, but, but that would not even happen. <laughs> there are stars that probably don't even exist anymore, but and the light is on its way here, so we're still seeing it. And that's why I say this now. We are... And, and Billy Carson literally confirmed it the other day, last time I watched him. But we're literally living in the past. Living in the past, everybody. And that's why when we look at other planets and what they're seeing is everything looks dead. Because they only see in the past. Right. Until you get there. Okay. And then... Maybe some other things, your vibration change. But they done got stuff back from Mars. They done been to Mars. This is the other part, though. They done been on the ground. They done sent things to Mars on the ground, scooped up dirt, and, and, sent, it and sent the information back. Because the rovers just... <laughs> that's so funny. Well, right. We go and leave trash. Right. And so do you know that somebody else is going to pick it up? Well, because we have every intention of going there. Right. We have every intention. Because they can't stay here. They're not from here. White people are what aliens. is the truth? White people are aliens. What is the truth? The truth is white people are aliens. They're allergic to the, they're allergic to the atmosphere and the sun. So the only way they can live here is to wear protective clothing. Because if they don't wear protective clothing, their skin will literally melt. Yeah. You know, but see, that's why, that's why they even suppressing white people, because they trying not to let nobody know about energy, about your own energy, because if you was on your energy game, then your uh, electric magnetic field around you will protect you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and everybody you. weak out here. And they pumping stuff to keep your electric magnetic field weak. That's why everybody got sniffly noses and colds and uh, oh my back hurt. My all these different things is dysfunctions in your aura, in your bioelectric, in your bioelectric <laughs> magnetic uh, field is being infiltrated. You That's know by this or full moon. Stuff happens. Right. Full moon. And that's because they don't want you to go outside on the full moon, bro. Because if people went outside and just like marveled, because the full moon is cool, yeah. If you want to look at an eclipse, you want to look at a full moon. And you get full moons every month. 